Okay, now after our abstract, it's so beautiful today and beautiful, we've got beautiful flowers. We're going to have a very quick lesson how to do flowers so we can all sunbathe, okay? Start, Sylvia, start. Which one do you want? You want this or this or this? Or you can pick any, any color, any, any type of flowers. Well, let's see. You have to pick up some colors which we'll, we'll be using. Pink, pink. Doesn't have to be exactly the same pink, but pink. Yellow, daffodils, dark green. That's about it. We can share them, okay? Okay, when we see, okay, we see, we can mix them all up. Should we do pink first? Pink, 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 pink. It's not exactly that pink, but it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so you look at the first, you see, more or less to cover the whole painting with flowers it does, it's not going to be precise but it's going to be like that okay <laughs> well we know the pink flower is going to be here okay and then there is a white flower here with the yellow here okay this is daffodil but we do, as it's white we don't have to quite frankly paint any white because just we can do And very quickly we draw it has to be not precise but it has to give impression of a flower because of course we're not doing anything precise all right now it is pink flower so we take pink and in this where the pink flower is we will then do the leaves. Of course, it doesn't have to be precise at all. And we just observe the leaves and put them more or less where they belong, okay? They don't have to be identical. There, we take our green, and we see one leaf, oh, this is green, whatever green it is, not that much green. There is another one, big green. There is a kind of, I can't quite see in the shadow very well, but there's a red, red rose. So behind there is a red rose. It's just more or less an impression of flowers. They don't have to be exact, exact flowers. Now we can take some, ah, there is another one. There's another daffodil here from the side. So we take it like that. Can, we can draw them with another <coughs> Ciężka kamera. Oops. Okay. Okay. Now, this is kind of boring so we have to see what can we do else uh, it's our pink now that we have lots of lovely white flowers we have nice this um, tulip which opened very beautifully we can do this tulip it's a different red but it doesn't matter and if we paint quite quickly it's rather satisfactory you know because then we can see, we can of course do very precise, but it's not, not no need at this point. You just want to get used to, to colors, not to be afraid of them. Then we can put another color around it. Okay, and then there we have another beautiful yellow daffodil. Look at this one. So basically, you make the yellow mess and then... Then we basically draw what we see. A little worse, a little better, doesn't matter. But at least we get used to 
two colors to the use of colors you see okay okay uh -huh. one more leaf here one here which one we can finish it a little bit better <laughs> did you find what, what else we have well very good Sylvia thank you you know if we don't like it we can smudge it up okay well and we can paint on it again so, no, you don't have to do that so at least we have now some background you see and then we can do lights. You see what I mean? I think making a mess it makes you feel more comfortable because it's not so pre deadly precise. It's terribly funny to be filmed when you paint. Kind of embarrassing because everybody would expect something beautiful and they are getting some mess. <laughs> like added one which is not here. Okay. Now we can add the light on, at, at this flower can we add a little bit of light because the leaves are, are in the shadow you see it has to all make sense it has to be even if it's done very quickly it has to make any sense so far but it doesn't matter basically you are learning how to <coughs> how to work with pastels you can have a piece of cloth to, to, to clean hands anyway so we, we can then do those white flowers here with yellow inside okay We got lots and lots of those. Basically, you have to think of composition, which we didn't think about composition, but it doesn't matter either. Because we're just trying to learn how to do flowers quickly, you know? Now we can all mess it all up again. You don't have to mess it up again. And then, can make an abstract flower, you see. We can make different ways of of painting, you see. <laughs> it doesn't make much sense, but it doesn't matter either. Basically, to show you what can one do, and how can one change it immediately to something else, to a different, completely different. completely different painting. Where is that flower? Ah. It's nice to do a little bit of. Precision. Uh, 
I know it's really not good, but it, I can show you how quickly you can draw and I quick, how quickly you can, you can add another color if you want. So basically you can even do, you can come starting with flowers, you can end up doing abstract, you see? Where is our black color that we like? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, here. Okay, now you can, we can even... See, each time, whatever we do, it changes completely outlook of the, of the painting, no? Do you see? So in one... 15 minutes time we can have so many if we photograph it at, at every stage then we can learn which stage we like and then we can find our own style of painting flowers Fifteen minutes gone? Yeah. Not yet? Four minutes left. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I think that shows you what how different it, it can be in one in one session. 15 minutes. Can we have it advice for Sylvia? What? I didn't have to, I didn't look at Sylvia's drawing yet. Yeah, very good, Sylvia. Mm. Colorful as you want, so you can see how color works. Okay, 15 minutes gone. Two minutes left. Two minutes? Oh, I don't know what more to do to it. <laughs> With the music going to finish. What? Okay, well, let's see, see the... Oh, you should cover it all. Cover it all. So it needs to have a... It should not be white. Unwanted. Yeah. No? Stuck. Oops, I was... I was... They're really bad drawings, quite frankly. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you are learning how, how, what one can do. That's just the beginning. At least you are learning how to use pastels. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And then, if you don't want it, you can actually cover it and make an abstract out of it. You see what I mean? Our time is gone. No, it has to be abstract. It has to explain itself as well a little bit. Why is like that and not like that? I think 15 minutes is gone. Where's our rubber? Okay. We can use our rubber technique too.
we always, if we go into abstract, we have to put the drawing the other way so we can see the composition in a new, new way. Okay, we will see what inspires us if we find something special here. Of course, is gone. It's gone? Okay. <laughs> well, flowers are gone as well. No, this really would need, if one wanted to make more sense, if such drawing has to have more sense, it needs a little bit more time. Then we can see the different ways we can paint in pastels. Now, of course, this, this is not good because it's too dark here. One should not have a very completely dark place. Now we finished and we have a now really bad olive. We want to make this what makes it more and we have to, to repeat that powerful corner somewhere else. So it's also dark, but a little bit different texture. So we can add a little bit. You want rubber? No. So that's I'm not sure if this lesson is going to be beneficial very much, but I think See how from one way of one flower we arrive to this. I don't know exactly what can you learn from this, but maybe perhaps somebody who, <laughs> who likes to learn pastels maybe can learn. Okay, I will think carefully about the next lesson because this was by chance what we did. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wesley.